here gets another point of view or another perspective and another definition altogether about what success is all about, right? Like all we think of success before tonight, maybe it's just like, you know, trying to struggle or trying to make it in what we do. But tonight you see a total perspective, a total different paradigm of success. And of course, what are the best way to actually get close, up close and personal with people that actually made it in this business? Uh, we have all together today, I have uh, five questions and I'm asking on behalf of you, the new people, and hopefully these are some of the questions that you have and uh, we have the professional to answer. So uh, before I have, uh, we actually have four guests here. I'm gonna sit here, can, uh, can I have someone to actually move the chairs in front a little? Thank you so much. So of course, you know this session is just like, um, we just want to pick the brains of successful people. Why we go to uh, talks like Tony Fernandez, or Richard Branson, or we have Jack Ma coming to talk. I believe all of us are interested to go, right? Yes. yes. Not because we want to be in the airline business, or not because we want to be in Jack Ma's business, but because we just want to pick how, how successful people think. Because we know in life, everybody is with the same situation. It's like there is no smooth success, there is always challenges, but why some people with the same challenge made it in life, but some people with the same challenge doesn't make it in life. What is the difference? It's just how we think and what we tell ourselves. And today, I'm gonna have four guests to actually share with us how do they think and when they face with challenges like this, okay? Uh, first, of course, we're gonna have uh, Mei Mi, okay, the very first speaker that actually spoke. <laughs> And the second case, we're going to have a couple. Uh, they are both husband and wife. They are in this business. One is an engineer and another one, let them introduce themselves. Uh, let us have our hand together to welcome Michael and Jenny. I hope that uh, this question actually answers some of your questions. Uh, okay, let me have another mic. So, hi guys, thank you so much for being here and sharing. Okay, just pass to any one of them. Okay, now. Uh, okay, so let me start my first question first. Okay, so the very first question I have is, um, since the last that we heard was from Bobby, so I want to ask like, uh, you are in the finance background, right? And you have so many choice that you you have before you met Emily. And why why at the end of the day you choose that? I try to make it short, okay? <laughs> so the, the thing is, when I was you know my early twenties, I was kind of person, a young kid. Right. Have a lot of dreams, have a lot of plans and uh, very concrete plan. Right. So I already list out things I wanted to do. So I list out my 10 things that I want to do. So the first one was in finance, financial services. Ten, 10 things you want to do in life? Yes, as a tool to build my life. Okay? Oh, wow. 10 things doesn't mean that I have to do all 10. If one doesn't work, I have to try to. But right. I have this right. collection of 10 things that I have to get myself exposed to. Okay. So uh, be in business of financial services. Right. Second one is buying a franchise. The third one is developing a real estate, not speculating. Okay. I even know when I was a kid that I'm not going to be in the speculation business. I want to oh. develop the real estate. So you see, I was that kind of kid who had plans. Amway wasn't one of them. Right. Okay. But when I learned about Amway, I put Amway at number 10. So what is the reason? Like you have all the 10 plans, right? Oh, okay. What is the reason that you put Amway like all of them? To skip everything? I think sane people with conscious thinking understand Amway easily. Right. People who don't listen or have prejudice or discrimination of thoughts, they cannot see clearly. But if you sit down and listen, for example, if someone hire you 
okay, uh, a million ringgit to research if 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 Amber is good, right? They're gonna do it, and people are gonna find out in two days <laughs> about the whole thing about Amber, right? Right. I just did that without one million. So I know that Amber is good, and anybody can know easily. But still, in my number ten. Right. I know it's in my top 10 that I need to do. So that means I don't have to look further than this 10. I just keep have to try in these 10 choices. But the reason why I put it, uh, MVS number 10 is because I was a kid and I was so excited with other things. MV is good, but doesn't look excited to me. Doesn't look so exciting. Yeah. But I know the result is what I want. It's like finance is so much cooler. So it's like, if anything fails, then I go to Amway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That kind of thing. Yep, yep. But because I didn't know that, I didn't know how good. I know Amway is good, right. but didn't know how good. I didn't have a chance to see all this right. when I learned about Amway. I only know it's a good business in terms of business model. Look nowadays, every company, every traditional business are trying their ways to make it like a direct selling business. By meaning that they're trying to get their liquidity to consumers. Nobody wants distributors anymore, right? right? They're trying to go all the way to customers. And everybody have internet. The reason why we have e-commerce is because they can go direct to consumers. That's the whole point, right? So anyway, after I understand that and I know how worth it, then obviously it's no brainer. I move Amway into my number one. Right. But because I have tried three of them, Three of them. Three out of the ten. Then I know life is not that easy. I think so you my still have to try. I still, because that's why I didn't join MA in the first. I signed up the first two years. I didn't do MA. Right. And I nineteen. I signed up already. I started twenty one. But nineteen already signed up. No MA is good. Nobody can argue with me. During that two days or two years, if somebody talk about MA, I tell them go do it. It's good. <laughs> but I don't do it. <laughs> but I can tell people and encourage them to do. it. Because I know logically it's good. So what are the three things that you actually tried? I tried the finance, of course, uh, and uh, franchise, and another one is the outsourcing model. Right. Outsourcing is like, you know, working with the uh, Indians and the Filipinos, reading x-ray, they call business process outsourcing. Because doctors in America, they don't want to get, you know, nobody wants to pay them to read x-rays. So when this, they do X-ray, they outsource that X-ray to India or Philippines to read that, and then send that instantly back the result of the X-ray reading. So I was doing that kind of business, and it's not that easy. Everything looks so cool, you know. But it's not. But reality doesn't look cool, you know. Amway doesn't look cool, but reality is so cool. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, in the beginning, it doesn't look cool, right? Amway, Amway person. What does it look like? What's your image of Amway person? For me. It was a old lady with hair like auntie. this, auntie with a big hair like that, like a lion, and with a basket, and with a lot of perfume. Hey, this is good for you. I know that's my image. When I started, I think it's Amway is like a, those kind of ajuma, like that. Right. But anyway, that's so what that, I said. That, that actually leads me to the second question. Is mm -hmm. that I think that question I directed to Jenny. So because Jenny is a. Jenny is just this uh, person, okay, get to know from her, but I want to ask you the second question is, you know, like, when you know Amway is so good, like when you see all this, it's like Amway is so good, but do you have, do you ever come across yourself or maybe your your friends that has the hang up image of direct selling? It's, like, it's so good, but still direct selling. Like, do you have that? For me, myself, no, I don't have that. Right. Because it depends on people that give the definition of direct selling. Right. If you think of direct selling as the, you know, you're making people to buy things. Yeah, it's, it's my not, not school for you. If you think of direct selling is, uh, 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 <laughs> you know, the kind of spring scheme or the kind of the people scam. Scam, right. That's not cool, right? But for me, when I do understand that way, I'm not understand as the direct selling that that way, right? You know, it's 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 depend on what you understand. For me, I'm not never never come across this problem. Even my friend, when I start to doing that way, they changed the way they think of direct selling. You know, if you are the the one who do it professionally, you can change. The image of direct selling. You and can change other people's perspective. Yeah, 
and then you can change other people's perspective and right. I say. Right. Yeah, so, you know, for me, uh, for anyone that didn't know me yet, I'm yes. Jenny, <laughs> and I'm Thai, of course. <laughs> and I started I'm a business since I was like 20, 21 years old also. Since I was in the university. Actually, we are the same university. university. <laughs> and actually, yeah, <laughs> but she's younger, she like my senior. Oh. We have been knowing each other for junior, yeah, for for ten years already. I think. Right, coming yeah. to Mimi, like you, you seem to be like bubbly and all. Like, have you come across to you like doing the Amway business? Losing friend is one of the thing that you have in mind. Like, doing Amway business, would I lose friends? Is this? I actually didn't think about that point at all. <laughs> yeah, at all. Seriously, because like. Uh, to make it very simple, okay, uh, like for us, right? If we, what could make us don't want to keep the relationship with a friend? What could be that reason? It must be something that very like severe, right? Or that friend might be like very very bad ones, right? Like uh, I just like think about myself, right? You know, I met Amway like so many times before, and I didn't want to do every at all, not interested at all, right? right. But the thing is, uh, my friends, actually like the first three times, all different people, so you, you, all you, different you, friends. You encounter Amway how many times? Like four times. Four times. And every time that I uh, met my friend, right, they try to like, okay, explain to me and everything. Right. But I, didn't, I don't know why, you know, at that time, like I didn't understand much, right? But I just knew that my friend tried to work on something. Right. And it's oh, okay, it's pretty good. But it's not maybe not my time yet. Or I didn't want to do it yet. Yeah. But okay, I want to support my friend. Yeah, so I just signed up because I thought signing up with them might help them. Just that? Yes. So I just think like, what is the bad thing that if our friend want to work? It's better than just like playing around and, and things, right? Right. Yeah. So the thing is, I, I just think that if we don't do anything like, you know, bad, our friend like, you know, that problem never happened for, for sure. Right. Yeah. And surprisingly, you know, like to, to us, right? To me. Because like uh, doing app, we have to talk to our friends, right? And knowing a lot of things about, about them. Yes. Like this day, you know, all my friends, even like no matter what business they do and everything, when come to like, when they have like problems and think that they're not really happy, I'm sure like one of the very first people that they think of I want to talk to is me. Oh. Yeah. I even think they're that, not in the business. Yeah, I think that that is a good thing. And it's really difficult. Depends on how you do do the business. Yes. And for us, like we, we know if some someone like do very very bad, we don't want to talk to them either. And I'm sure that you are not gonna do it that way for sure. Yeah. So that's so why. So it's all about how we do the business. Yes. And how we actually how we actually do the business and change the perspective of our friends yes. towards the business. Right. Now, uh, the the second last question that I want to ask. Michael here is that I know that Michael is um, uh, you study really really well, right? And but I hear study. <laughs> you do yeah. study? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, what I want to ask you is that I know that you actually studied very well and you actually got graduated with first class honor. But at the same time, that year, that same year, you also qualified founder Sapphire. Founder Sapphire in the M1 business. Yep. Like, you know, it's like we know that, yeah, okay, we, we need to do something in our life. But there is always routine and everyone has a routine in our life. Yep. Everyone is busy with something. Yeah, right. Now, how do you actually manage your time and put ammo into your schedule and actually still juggling and still yep. excel in both? Okay, yeah. so uh, I started Amway Business when it was around 20 at year two. Yeah, uh, and I believe at, you know, uh, at the level of life, yeah, we are busy, right? You agree with that? Yes. But we're busy with, you know, different things. Yeah? yeah? So, at that time, uh, when it was still, in, yeah, I busy, busy with five things. Yeah, the first one is studying. Because, yeah, I have to, you know, um, get the first order. 
otherwise my mom kill me. <laughs> yeah, because I have two sisters, they are doctor, and they all get first honor. That's a big problem. And you're yeah. engineering. <laughs> yeah, family tradition. Yeah, my ex expectation very high. Okay, so uh, the reason why I have to achieve the first honor because responsibility, but I hate studying. Yeah, I love playing games. <laughs> and second one is, <clears throat> um, it's like uh, I jump into um, you know engineering. That's a school like uh, major uh, mechanical. So I was the president of the major. Yeah, because friend, oh Michael, 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 go 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 go. go. <laughs> okay, so it's a kind of big responsibility. And the third thing is, yeah, Amway. It's just Amway because. I, don't, I, I want to all the business. And after graduate, graduate, I don't want to work for the company. Right. And the fourth thing, yeah, I was a tutor. Wow. Yeah, before Amway because I want to earn the money. Okay? Yeah, last thing, um, girlfriends. Two oh. girlfriends. <laughs> ten, <laughs> ten girlfriends. Oh, no, this <laughs> ten girlfriends. <laughs> but yeah, I said goodbye for them. Yeah. And yeah, Jenny. <laughs> very good choice, very good choice. <laughs> so you actually yeah, have five so things. Five things, yeah, so busy. I still remember at that time, I called Bobby because he's my ally. He's like my mentor. So I called Bobby. Uh, like, at that time, 6 p.m. I still remember. I called me Bobby, brother. I'm so stressed. Too many things, too busy. Can you suggest me? Can you lead me? How to, you know, how to deal with this? Bobby, just you know, replying, hey Michael, you deserve it. That's why you're busy. You deserve it. That's you deserve it. Busy. That's why you're busy. It's kind of you know, indirectly you know, motivation. Right. But I feel something. Oh yes, he's right. <laughs> he's right. Yeah, he's right. He deserves ten girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> that thing just joking. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, what I want to tell you is, um, yeah, we're busy, but you have to ask yourself, busy for, for what? Okay, many people, they're busy for nothing. Busy for someone, someone's dreams. Busy for poor. Okay, ask yourself, what you're busy for? Busy for rich? Busy for your dreams? Busy for... You know, your family, ask yourself, right? Because we all gonna die, right? Gonna die? Yes. yes. Yeah. So we have limited time. It's not like a game. It's like when you when you date, you press continue. Then you have the new life. No, we have only one life. And like Bobby said, the you know the most important you have to know. You must know what you really want in your life. This is the most important. Okay, and after you know what you want in your life, then you prioritize. Okay, your things. So that's why uh, at the time I have five things, right? I try to cut it off. Yeah, the tutor I cut it off because yeah, earn some. But later on, I want a business. Yeah. Okay, I try to. You know, manage everything into two, two things. The first one is Amway, and another thing is yeah, study. Yeah. So, so it's all about priority. Priority. And knowing what you want. Yes. And the last thing is always remember uh, good job and good life is different. It's different. Yeah. Many people look for the good job, but they end up with bad life. Oh, yeah. This is so insightful. Good job and good life. It's different. Yeah, it's different. Yeah. Right. So we have to see it through. Yeah. Thank you yeah. so much. Wow. <laughs> and and the, and the last question, I think it's back to you, Bobby. Like, uh, since you're in ammo business for 15 years, and how many people of us, like, how many of us actually know people working in an industry for 15 years, but still struggling? to make it happen, right? But since you're in this business for 15 years and you have made it and you actually, I just want to ask like, what are the future of Amo that we can look forward to? Like, 
of course the question is can we depend our future in the business like is this business evolving yeah are you ready for the answer <laughs> i would do it in the most honest way yes please are you ready yes, yes. whatever your job is having right now can you rely on it The answer is, before asking about Amway, right? I would say that the whole thing is for you to understand that Amway business is all about enabling ourselves to rely on ourselves. <coughs> Other business, you cannot rely on yourself because there are so many externalities. Come and learn Amway business, and you will know that this whole thing. I cannot say that it will last forever because it won't. Because nothing lasts forever, but it will last more than your lifetime, and definitely more than our lifetime. And you don't even have to think about your grandchildren. Let them think for themselves. Because I think our grandparents also don't prepare everything for us. We have to think for ourselves too. So I think there's no point to ask why, uh, how this business gonna last for 1,000 years. I don't know. Let alone the country will last for a thousand years. The whole thing is, for this coming 20 years, you have seen so much already has proven. For this coming 50 years, it's already proven for 60 years. The reason why I say that to come and learn by yourself, I give you this example. You know, there's a big ideas like. Uh, mass production by Henry Ford, making cars yes. for the mass. Yes. That's a big idea, right? Yeah. And that is the dream too. So Henry Ford dream is to put every car into every household. So he did. He changed the world. Then you have people like Bill Gates having a vision like putting a PC in every room in every house. You remember? Yes. You look, we heard about all this? And it's already changed the world. Yes. When it comes to Amway, Amway started with the idea that how can we make people realize their dreams through a business? So our idea is not putting new delight in every room around the world. No. Our goal in Amway is how to help people realize their dreams. And no matter what ages, no matter how advanced technology will grow, people will still have dream. Yes. And people still have to fight for their own freedom. And funny thing is, no matter how much you don't like it, but it's true, freedom is not free. We have to be light. We have free will, but we don't have freedom. So the whole idea is, this business offer a tool for people to realize their dream as almost to zero investment. Do you think this is a powerful idea? Putting a car into every house, putting a PC into every room, these are big ideas. But for me, PC is not going to be forever. Limitation of technology. Cars, we have Tesla. Things will change. But people to people's dream and people determination to claim their dreams will be there forever. No matter how many people you see out there that they don't care about their own dreams, they don't be responsible for themselves, you must also know that there are also more people willing to work hard for their dreams. Yes. And that's why this business, we don't have to worry about the future. Because they're gonna be people like me. Think about when PW and Amy started the business, they want to build a family. And here comes their second generation building their family in this business. You will see when your customer, customer not leaders, you see every products, for the family, the kids. Yes. And when kids grow up, get married, ask mom, mom, I get married, move to a new house, how can I get Amway products too? Yes. So Amway products usage is also inheritable. They pass on the customer. So I'm telling you, prepare for yourself. So you don't even have to worry about the future. Because whenever you can help people realize their dream, you have the whole world with you. That's the answer. Thank you so much. <laughs> I think the most insightful thing about tonight is that 
after all that we have experienced and what that we have seen, the most important part and the most precious part is we can do what they do. We've been to a lot of insightful events, but we can only leave the event feeling motivated. But we still go back to the same thing the next day. But today, in this event, if there is one thing, you can do the same thing and get and achieve the same thing like all of us here. So thank you so much for tonight. Don't see you again. Okay.